give you all an update on this car and my plans for it and uh, what we got going on at the shop, stuff like that. Uh, got this car a few weeks back. Uh, if you hadn't watched that video yet, go give it a watch. Uh, I've done a few things to it. I've got it where it'll run and, and drive and put a converter in it and uh, done a little bit to it. I hadn't had a whole lot of time to work on it, but uh, few things I want to do to it still. I want to put a radiator in it and uh, got to move the trans brake button and I want to put an engine diaper on it and uh, you know just a few things uh, mostly just to make myself comfortable in the car uh, and uh, you know really I guess uh, make it fit me and uh, you know, we get it ready to go to the track uh, I eventually want to run some of the 275 type stuff with it and uh, there's a lot of those events popping up all over the place nowadays and I want to run some index stuff with it and uh, as y'all know I'm a bracket racer so we we'll probably run some brackets with it too when I was growing up there was a class called real street and mean street they run the local tracks around here and uh, it was kind of for street style cars like this and uh, they run on the index um, and that was all I wanted growing up was a real street car and that, that class kind of fizzled out a few years back but uh, a lot of the small tire classes they come up with now are you know pretty close to it and uh, I look forward to being able to do some of that I think we can uh, I think we can compete with this car and uh, I'd love to go to Georgia twice a year and run that uh, lights out no mercy uh, that's always been the dream of mine running in front of a crowd like that uh, Hopefully we'll make it you know, next couple years. And uh, I really look forward to getting in the car. Uh, first race car I ever built was a 86 notchback. Uh, I, was in, I was still in high school and uh, I put it uh, put it together. I was gonna try to run, you know, Mean Street, Real Street with it and uh, just never quite got it done. And uh, I guess this is, uh, this is 2.0 for that one. Uh, we're going to finally get it. Uh, this is uh, how I would love for that car to be. So we finally going to get uh, get something on the track. Uh, said I really, really look forward to, uh, to running the car. And uh, we'll keep you all updated. I'm going to do videos on it as we go along with it on, uh, you know, the different uh, upgrades, updates, just little stuff like that. Of course, when we go to the track with it. And uh, it should be a real fun little car. Uh, as far as stuff we got going on at the shop, I've got a 66 GTO I'm finishing for a guy. Should have it done here soon. I'm going tomorrow to pick up a 64 Mercury Comet convertible to get uh, restored and running for a, a wedding, actually. Uh, it's a pretty neat little deal. And I just finished a uh, 88S10 Pro Street truck to sell. And we moved shops recently, and I'm still trying to get everything, you know, in order. And, uh, you know, uh, we're trying to add on to the shop and get everything, you know, how we want it. Uh, but eventually, we're going to be a lot happier where we're at. Uh, I'm going to do a shop update video uh, as soon as I can. And... Uh, I'm going to try to get rocking and rolling on some more projects. Anyway, if y'all have any questions, uh, comment, let me know. I'll answer what I can. And uh, like, subscribe. I'm going to try to start doing more videos on the channel uh, with my racing and the shop stuff and all of that. Uh, so if you, if you like that kind of thing, uh, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, we'd really appreciate it.